Hello, Rejoice family and those beyond Rejoice who happen to be watching this. Um, I come to you in the midst of a time when a lot of things are going on in our world, in our church. And, you know, one of the things I've tried to make Rejoice or help, try to help Rejoice be is a place where we can talk about all kinds of different things. So I'm working on some things to help us talk about, you know, how do we respond? How do we, um, how do we come together? How do we help uh, be a part of solutions in our world. Um, but we're also managing change right now. And, you know, on the one hand, I'm very excited about this, but this is also managing change as we start to invite people to come back and be a part of worship at Rejoice in some uh, some very controlled but and initial stages. But I, I think it's also important to share with you uh, what is going on. And so what you can look forward to starting June 14th and then also starting in July as we kind of go to a second phase. So starting June 14th at 10 o'clock on Sunday mornings, we will be uh, doing uh, something we call praise in the parking lot. So it'll be a shortened service. It'll be about a 30 minute service um, where we will invite you to come and park in the parking lot. We will be broadcasting the service into, uh, into an AM station, which you can turn on in your vehicles. Um, and so let me talk to you about what that service is going to look like. So we're going to ask people to enter through the south entrance of our parking lot. As you come and drive towards the back of the parking lot, there will be someone there who will hand out to you a bulletin, a, an attendance uh, card, and also, if you, if you desire, um, the equipment for celebrating communion, whether the prepackaged kits that we have or individual wafers and um, grape juice or wine, if you'd prefer it that way. You're also welcome to bring your own bread and your own uh, you know, grape juice or wine and, and glasses and celebrate in, in your car, and that way nothing has to tra transfer between hands. But um, you'll receive that as you come in. We'll invite you to come back and park in the back in the um, side lot of Rejoice um, when 10 o'clock starts, uh, the uh, worship team will begin playing music. Um, they will be inside. It will be broadcast through uh, your speaker's eye, and an assisting minister will be outside. Uh, and we will either be up behind the youth room or walking along the sidewalk trying to, again, there's going to be some things that we learn as we do this, but trying as much as possible to be able to inter interact with you. The service will end with communion, and you'll be invited to uh, take communion in your vehicle and then a final song will be uh, played as as people do that and then as you leave there will be the opportunity if you uh, to to return the attendance card so we can keep track of who comes to uh, give an offering if you choose and I'll also to receive a blessing um, so I'll be standing there giving each car a blessing as you depart so that's going to be what happens in um, in June in July we're going to add to this um, the opportunity for a traditional service inside. That will be at 8.30 in the morning. Um, we are going to, again, it'll be a slightly shorter service. There's some things that we're doing to keep everybody safe um, that should make the service 40 minutes, 45 minutes at the top. That also gives us time to transition to the outside service afterwards. Um, in the midst of all this, we are going to, uh, as we do an inside service, we are going to scan temperatures. We are going to require you to wear a mask. We are going to, if you are not feeling well, we are going to ask you not to come to that service. Um, again, we still consider this a very high risk uh, disease and we want to do everything we can to possibly keep you safe. We will continue to do our video services. I know that there are members of our congregation who will not be able to even feel safe coming in their vehicle. And I also know that there are others who you know, worshiping and coming and wearing a mask, you know, they would rather stay at home. And I'm okay with that. So we want you to have options for, for however you're best going to be able to worship. We also want to be able to continue to meet people where they are. I know that there are people who have watched our worship or been a part of our community in these last several weeks um, who have not been a part of our regular worshiping community. And we want to continue to make that a, the, the worship that we do, the... Uh, the the um, the resources that we have available for everybody at this time. 
So again, I thank you for your continued generosity, your continued prayers, your continued support in the midst of this time as we've walked through this together. And we trust that, you know, God has been with us in the midst of all this time too. And in the midst of the the troubles we go through, whether uh, the troubles that our nation is dealing with right now, or whether it's the troubles that uh, we're dealing with with COVID-19, that God has not uh, abandoned us in this time, but instead God walks with us. Know that you are in my hearts, know that you are in my prayers, and know that I look forward to being able to see you again soon.